In this English grammar lesson, you're going to master two of the most important verb tenses in English, and that's the past simple and the present perfect. You're going to learn how to use them just like a native speaker. Welcome back to J4's English. Of course, I'm Jennifer. Now let's get started. Let's compare two sentences. I saw that movie. I've seen that movie. I'm sure you know that I saw that movie is the past simple and I've seen that movie is the present perfect. Easy, right? Let's quickly review the structure. To form the past simple, you need the subject and the past simple verb, which is either the base verb plus ed or an irregular verb. In this case, we have an irregular verb because it isn't I seed that movie with ed, it's I saw that movie. So it's an irregular past simple. To form the present perfect, you need the subject, have or has, depending on the subject, and you need the past participle. For the subjects I, you, we, and they, you need have. And for the subjects he, she, it, you need has. I have seen that movie, she has seen that movie. Now let's talk about how to use these verb tenses because native speakers use them in ways that most students don't use correctly. Of course, the past simple is used for a completed past action. I saw that movie. But did you know that the present perfect is also used with a completed past action? However, there has to be a result in the present. That's why we call it the present perfect. So just remember that present, completed past action, but result or impact in the present right now. I've seen that movie. So what could be the result in the present? I've seen that movie, so now I don't want to watch it. So now, I can tell you about it. So now we can discuss it and I can share my opinion. So always remember there's a so now with the present perfect when it's a completed past action. But very important, native speakers rarely say the so now. It's just implied based on context. So your friend could invite you over and say, do you want to come over and watch Barbie tonight? And you can reply back and say, I've seen it. Now your friend understands the so now you don't want to watch Barbie. You don't need to vocalize that and most native speakers will not vocalize it. So you might say, I've seen it. And then ask your friend, have you seen the new Leo movie? Did you notice I use the present perfect in that question? Have you seen the new Leo movie? We also use the present perfect to talk about life experience, things we have and haven't done in our lives until now. For example, have you ever eaten sushi? To reply, you can say, no, I haven't eaten sushi, or yes, I have. Yes, I have is the short form. The full form would be, yes, I have eaten sushi. You could add on and say, I ate it last year for the first time. This is the past simple because it's a completed past action. You could also add on, I lived in Japan for a year. Again, this is the past simple, a completed past action. You do not live in Japan now. What if you said, I've lived in Japan for a year? This is the present perfect, and it's used for an action that started in the past and continues until now and will continue into the future indefinitely. Now, it's important to note that you can use the present perfect or the present perfect continuous interchangeably with three common verbs, live, work, 
study. I've lived in Japan for a year. I've been living in Japan for a year. They're exactly the same, but this is only for those three verbs, live, work, and study. You could say, I didn't eat sushi when I lived in Japan. This is in the past simple because it's a completed time reference. It's impossible for you to eat sushi now because the whole time reference is in the past. But you could also say, I haven't eaten sushi yet. This is the present perfect and it's an unfinished time reference because it's still possible for you to eat sushi now. Why? Because you're alive. You could eat sushi tomorrow or next week. So it's an unfinished time reference. So let's review our uses. For the past simple, you can use it for a completed past action or life experience with a finished time reference. For the present perfect, you can use it with a completed past action with a result in the present, life experience, life experience with an unfinished time reference, and with an action that started in the past and continues until now with those three common verbs, which are live, work, and study. Now let's review some common mistakes that I hear students make again and again with these two very important verb tenses. Let's review this sentence. I've tried sushi last week. What's the mistake in this sentence? Do you know? You can't use a specific time reference last week. That's a specific time reference. You can't use a specific time reference with the present perfect. So how would you correct this sentence? Write it in the comments. I ate sushi last week. Because you have last week, you need the past simple. Some common specific time references are yesterday, last month, last week, last year, in 2020, at 3.30 p.m., assuming now it's after 3.30, four years ago, on July 15th, which is in the past, when I graduated, because you graduated at a specific time in the past, perhaps July 15th, 2020. During the meeting, again, the meeting took place at a specific time, on Monday at 3.30, and today's Tuesday, so it's in the past. How about this sentence? We've lived here since 10 years. What's the mistake? Do you know? The mistake is confusing for or since. One of the most common mistakes. How can you fix the sentence? Put it in the comments. We've lived here for 10 years. We've lived here since 2013. You need for plus a duration and since plus a starting point. 2013 is the starting point for that action, which continues until now because it's in the present perfect. Because remember, you can use the present perfect or the present perfect continuous with which three verbs? Live, work, and study. You got it. Now I'm going to quiz you to see how well you really know the past simple and the present perfect. Are you ready? Question one, she breakfast an hour ago. Do you need the past simple or the present perfect? And how do you conjugate it? Put your answer in the comments. She ate breakfast an hour ago. Past simple because it's a completed past action with a specific past time reference, an hour ago. And notice eat is an irregular verb, she ate. Question two, you need to rewrite the sentence so it's in the present perfect. The sentence is, she ate breakfast an hour ago. How would you rewrite this in the present per perfect? Put it in the comments. She has 
already eaten breakfast. You don't need already, that's optional. She has eaten breakfast, so now she's not hungry. But remember, a native speaker won't communicate that so now. So you can simply say, she's eaten breakfast. She's already eaten breakfast. So you need to get rid of that past time reference. It can't exist with the present perfect. Question three, we, three paintings so far. Do you need the past simple or the present perfect? How do you conjugate it? Put the correct answer in the comments. We have bought three paintings so far. This is in the present perfect because it's possible for you to buy more paintings. You can go to the store tomorrow or next week. So it's an unfinished time reference because you're alive. So it's still possible for you to buy more paintings. We have bought three paintings so far. Question four, rewrite this sentence so it's in the past simple. We have bought three paintings so far. We bought, past simple, irregular verb. We bought three paintings last week, yesterday, an hour ago. You simply need a past time reference. Question five, Ling, as a realtor from 2005 to 2015. Do you need the past simple, present perfect? Put the correct answer in the comments. Ling worked as a realtor because it's a completed past action. Your final question, you know what to do. Rewrite the sentence so it's in the present perfect. Ling has worked as a realtor and now we need since, since 2005 or we can use for, for 20 years. But because it's in the present perfect, it means Ling is still a realtor now, whereas in the past simple, she is no longer a realtor. How'd you do with that quiz? Share your score in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. And you can get this free speaking guide where I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. You can click here to download it or look for the link in the description. And there are many irregular verbs in English. I have a lesson summarizing the most common, so make sure you watch that lesson now because you need to know the irregular verbs to correctly use the past simple and the present perfect. So watch the lesson right now.